There are a whole host of drugs that are administered via the transdermal skin patch. Drug companies use the transdermal skin method because they know it works like a charm. According to one study, it's 95% more effective than taking medication orally. You simply apply the product to the skin, and within a matter of seconds, you've got the drug moving through your bloodstream in double time. The cosmetics you smear all over your body are no different. A couple of swipes of that deodorant, and you've got all kinds of goodies swimming around in your system. Propylene glycol, used in the manufacture of polyester fabrics, artificial fragrance, and if you're really bad at choosing your products, parabens, a proven estrogen mimic. The cosmetic manufacturers will assure you that these chemicals are all extremely safe and completely non-toxic. Personally, I'm not buying it. For one, these substances are all tested individually, not as a whole. If you've ever took a chemistry class, you have to wonder what happens when you combine all the chemicals from your deodorant, soap, shampoo, cologne, and conditioner inside your body all at once. I can promise you one thing, the cosmetic industry doesn't have a clue. But what about the government? Aren't they protecting us? Nope. With cosmetics, the Food and Drug Administration has no authority to require safety studies like it does with OTC drugs and prescription medications. This means that cosmetics are among the least regulated products on the market. So in other words, you're taking the manufacturer's word that the product you're smearing all over your body 365 days a year is entirely safe. So how is all this working out? Not too well in my opinion. Man boobs, fleshy hips and thighs, gut fat, and suppressed male hormone levels are the rules now, not the exception. I believe the chemical agents us men come into contact with on a daily basis play a huge role in this. Look at it this way. Your skin, which is the largest organ in your body, is like a big, wide-open, gaping mouth. Anything that goes near it will go down the hatch and wind up in your system. Smear on that degree deodorant every morning, and you may as well just fill up a shot glass with the following and go bottoms up. Dipropylene glycol, water aqua, propylene glycol, sodium stearate, paloxamine 1307, fragrance parfum, amino methyl propanol, disodium EDTA, BHT, yellow 5 CI 19140, green 6 CI 61565. I don't know about you, but you couldn't pay me to put this chemical cesspool in my morning smoothie. Now consider this. The American Chemical Society has more than 50 million substances listed in their database. According to Dr. Hayadeki Chihara, PhD chemist and former president of Japan Association for International Chemical, a novel substance is either isolated or synthesized every 2.6 seconds on the average during the past 12 months day and night, seven days a week. That's a lot of chemicals to keep track of. So what's a man to do? Here is your best defense. Use natural paraben-free fragrance-free products that are made from items that you would not have a problem eating. Think cocoa butter, olive oil, shea butter, coconut oil, and natural mineral salts. Head to your health food store and you can find soaps, shampoos, and other personal care products made with these natural ingredients. It's going to cost you more, that's certain, but what are you willing to give up in order to hang on to your manhood? Personally, anytime I'm faced with this dilemma, I reach straight into my back pocket and pull out my wallet. And I believe every man watching this video should do the same. Well, that's all for now. For more information on boosting testosterone and enhancing testicle function naturally, download my free ebook by clicking on the link in the description box below. We will be back soon with another video, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Until then, goodbye and peace.